Hello, and welcome to our first of six video presentations designed to acquaint you with the third edition of the CQI-11 Plating System Assessment. These videos will familiarize you with the document layout and the overall process, train you on how to complete each section, and provide insight into the exact expectations for completion of the assessment. The AIAG Continuous Quality Improvement, or CQI-11 assessment, was developed as a self-assessment to help automotive suppliers develop a planning management system to meet the electroplating industry's best practices. A team of process experts, including chemical suppliers, industry consultants, applicators, and automotive OEMs contributed to the development of this document. Many OEMs require that their Tier 1 suppliers provide the CQI assessments of special processes, like electroplating, from each of their sub-suppliers. These assessments must be updated annually. Currently, there are assessments for eight processes, plating, brazing, casting, coating, heat treat, molding, soldering, and welding. While designed as a self-assessment, it is strongly recommended that your organization enlist the help of industry experts with detailed knowledge of these assessments to optimize the output. In the electroplating industry, chemical suppliers are often willing to assist in your review, ensuring well-prepared documents. The CQI-11 plating system assessment is available through AIAG.org and includes both a Word and Excel document in multiple languages. The Word document provides the necessary information to understand how to conduct the CQI-11 assessment, including an explanation of its concept and scope and a description of the skills required of the selected assessor. The Excel document serves as the actual assessment worksheet, where all findings are documented. This will be discussed further in our subsequent video installment. The Word document provides instructions to complete each section of the self-assessment. Assessor qualifications are defined on page 6. It is critical to select an assessor that meets these criteria. The end of the document contains a glossary defining the intended meaning of terms used throughout. Technical terms must have precise meanings, so it is important to understand these glossary definitions. The CQI-11 assessment format includes five sections plus a cover sheet. The cover sheet details the specific processes audited and summarizes the results of the current audit. Note that a separate audit is required for each unique process and or electroplating line. Following the cover sheet are the five working sections, including management responsibility and quality planning, floor and material handling and responsibility, pyrometry, job audit, and process tables specific to the covered processes. For descriptions of the purpose and format of each of these sections, please join us in video 2. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, contact quality at AIAG.org. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.